Hello there, What's Left audience. Uh, this is a very special episode of What's Left. Partially, uh, well, first off, it, it is still a challenge to the mainstream left because the mainstream left doesn't talk about the fourth industrial revolution. And we're going to talk about the fourth industrial revolution and CBDCs today. Um, uh, but there are some things that are different about today's episode. Number one, uh, we're recording like on a Sunday and normally and why we're putting, we put out an episode two days ago, and this episode will be out like in a day. Um, so this is a special time for putting it out. But the most important part of this special episode is the person you see right here. Um, you might be able to guess who this is. You might have heard of a person called Brandy. I married her. Can, can, can we prove that we were married? Right here, right oh, here. Oh, yeah. We got the rings. We yeah. got the rings to prove it. There we go. <laughs> yes. So this is Brandy. I'm Andy. Um, and we're going to share with you today an idea for organizing uh, that actually Brandy brought to me. Um, and maybe you can start with mm -hmm. telling us where it came from and the idea it is. So I'm a Catherine Austin Fitz fan, and uh, she blasted out through Solari. And in fact, the idea came from a member of Solari, her um, organization, for Thanksgiving to give out, not Thanksgiving, for Halloween to give out uh, to trick or treaters constitutions and cash. So pocket constitutions and like dollars in cash to basically, you know, um, highlight both, you know, trying to educate people about constitutional rights and, um, you know, to save cash and, and all the stuff that's going on. So um, she broadcast that out and I thought, that's a great idea. And I wasn't so much on the constitution pocket constitutions. Um, I, but I, I'm big on the cash thing. I, I myself for the last couple of years have made it um, a concerted effort to use cash almost all the time. I rarely use my credit card except to buy stuff online. Has, has Andy done that? Uh, no, Andy has not done that. Andy's not been as good about it. That. Actually, it takes a lot. There's, yeah. I mean, well, I'm at part of a credit union, so there's very few ATMs. A lot of ATMs have gotten vandalized and um, multiple times, like ones at 7-Elevens and stuff like that, that correspond with our credit union. So they completely take them out or they're shut down. So getting cash is harder and harder. And that is part of what's going on. But I'm like, you know, I'm going to take the time to go and find parking and bank hours, stand in line and go and get cash. Anyway, so I spend cash most of the time. And I also um, have made up little, you know, quarter sheet handbills that then as much as possible, I try and engage cashiers and other people in conversation when I pay cash to say I'm paying cash, one, to save the business, you know, transaction fees and all that but also to keep cash alive and, you know, do you know about central bank digital currencies? And um, so that's a whole nother conversation, but that's something that has been like my little personal mission for a while. And so when I heard this thing from Catherine Austin Fitz, I thought, great, um, let's do it. And I was like all about handing out, you know, she didn't say anything about handing out why you're doing this, but I thought, well, let's hand out rolled up dollar bills with little rolled up um, information about, um, for Halloween, right? For Halloween. Right. Did, I, did I say something else? That, no, that's fine. Just no, yeah. Because we're uh, going to have Halloween is going to be when? The 31st. The 31st. Is that a Friday? No, it's a Thursday. Thursday. So it'll be this Thursday. Not this Thursday. Oh, the following, following Thursday. Thursday. Okay, we're, great. We're, we're giving people a heads we're up. We're giving you tons of time. I thought it was this Thursday. No? Great. Oh, great. yeah. We got plenty. Of so time. you have two weeks to do. Well, you'll see. Listen to the idea and see if you want to do it. Anyways, so I thought make up a little sheet that says, you know, why cash is important and why we're giving it out. And here we go. And when I told Andy, because I thought Andy would get behind this, he wouldn't be so behind the constitution bit. So um, anyways, he was like, yeah, but we still have to give out candy. <laughs> right. And by the way, my voice is a little funny because I'm recovering it from a cold. Yeah. Um, so at first I kind of resisted that. Um but I'm like, okay, well, you know, like, I mean, what kid wouldn't want money, especially a lot of the kids that we get are like, well, we do get some teenagers, but we get yeah. a lot of kids who are like five or six. Yeah. So uh, anyways, that's how it started. And uh, so we have candy, dollar bills, and then a little uh, write up on why we're doing this. Right. So this in two weeks, when we are giving, passing out candy for Halloween, um, we're going to be passing out candy, but not just regular candy, candy kind of wrapped in a dollar bill. Yeah. Right. And in addition to that, we're going to be handing 
probably the, the kid, a message to hand to the parents, which is going to be a sort of a two side note. We're, we haven't made we're, it up. We're, we've just got the text. Yeah, it'll it's, be one yeah. side and two sides, but we're going to, we're going to work gonna it. Zhuzh it up yeah. and do a little like half sheet flyer with some images and stuff. And we'll share the, some of this stuff with you down below. So you can use this as the basis for your format. So the candy and the dollar goes to the kid. And then the half sheet goes to the kid to say, Hey, give this to your, to your mom, give this to your dad, give this to your, your guide, whoever's with you. Um, and that we hope that they will read it later. Um, and it's going to be a half sheet. So it's not as big as eight by an 11. It'll be half of that. Um, and here's what we're saying on the front. Uh, or at least part of it. Yeah. Um, the title of it is a note about our treat and a sneaky trick. Um, hi, where are your neighbors, Andy and Brandy? Why are we handing out uh, dollar bills along with a treat to your child? We're doing it as a reminder of the importance of physical currency and to highlight a trick we believe the government and bankers have in store for all of us. The physical currency your child holds in your hand will be going away in the near future. The plan is to replace all physical money with digital currency, not Bitcoin, but rather what's called central bank digital currency, CBDC, uh, likely controlled and distributed by the Federal Reserve, the U.S.'s private central bank. Without cash and coin, you will be 100% reliant, reliant on digital systems and lose access to your money during power and internet outages. So what's the trick? You will be told this transition is for your convenience and security and to help stop criminals. This is a lie. CBDC is not a tool for our benefit, but for the governments and bankers. They will have the final say on control and access to your money, not you. Every purchase made with a CBDC can be tracked and traced to develop a profile of you as a consumer, throwing privacy out the window. Digital currency is also programmable. This means corporations and governments can decide to limit what you can spend money on, how far from your house your money will work, and even set dates by when your money will expire. The transition from physical to digital currency represents an important step for our government in tightening control over its population. We are resisting this and invite you to do the same. Dun, dun, dun. So that's that's the half part that will that will explains why we're doing it. Yeah. Then on the flip side, we're gonna have so what can you do? Uh and a, a numbered list. And just remember, we're California. So if you're in, outside of California, you may want to look into some of the details we put in here. So go ahead. Yeah. So number one is keep cash alive, use cash whenever possible, tell others why, and urge businesses to continue accepting cash and not go cashless. So number two is uh, don't get a California real ID. Real IDs are part of a federal database being readied for the next step, digital driver's license uh, licenses, which will later become a si single digital ID linked to all your info, financial, health, education, etc. Three, if you already have a real ID, downgrade it to an old school, federally non-compliant license. These are still good everywhere. And starting May 2025, you can use your passport to fly instead. And don't worry, Brandy put downgrade in quotes. She kn we know that's not a downgrade, it's an upgrade. Yeah, exactly. Um, so there are a few states that uh, you like manage. My like, brother in Texas. Yeah, Texas. Mandatory real ID, no going back. Yep. Um, four, uh, use and promote analog options. Digitization can be helpful and efficient, but an all digital system is vulnerable to hacking, manipulation, and central control. Reduce your reliance on digital systems and devices. Avoid QR codes. Opt out of face scans at the airport, in parentheses. Yes, you can do that. And minimize slash eliminate invasive surveillance systems in your home, such as Alexa, Nest, Ring, and other smart devices. Five, raise awareness about these issues with your family, friends, and neighbors. And six, stay in touch. Or want to know more or to talk about other ways of resisting, drop us a line and we give uh, email. We'd love to get to know our neighbors better and see what we can do together to help make a safer world for us and our children. So as you can see, the, the idea is, yes, to get information out there, but it's also to start to get to know our neighbors better on an overtly political basis on something that really matters to us and we think is going to matter to them. And this is this is layering on from the WhatsApp in our neighborhood where you know, there was some you know domestic violence and guns being shot off and people were talking about, we all need to get ring cameras mm -hmm. and have you given your ring footage to the police and blah, blah, blah. So. Um, we spoke up about that, as Andy mentioned in a previous episode. 
so we, yeah, this we, is we, yet we, become, an we, we yeah. have become we will become known in the neighborhood as those crazy anti surveillance people, which we are crazy and we are anti surveillance. Yep, we're anti fourth industrial revolution. Um, so we think this would be a great idea. Um, so we urge all of you to actually maybe think of doing something like this. Um, we're going to put a copy of our of our note in the in the in the description of this video. Um, is there anything else we need to put in there? No. Maybe maybe a, a, a thing that says about whether your state is a real ID or not. I have a link to that that okay, you can tell you great. your the real ID status of your state. Um, but also, frankly, if if an issue if there's another issue that's that you're passionate about that's not central bank digital currency, that's something else. I would say do this. Like go out yeah, there and come up with some little fun thing. Yeah. Oh, and also like if if a dollar bill is like a little steep, which it can be. Um, we were thinking of doing 25 cents or we were thinking of instead of putting the dollar bill around each candy, maybe uh, uh, attaching the dollar bill to the to the post. Yeah, that would reduce probably the numbers. that you. Oh, would. yeah. At first, I was like, why would you do that? And he's like, because some families have three kids and then you're just giving one to the parent um, rather than each one to every yeah. child. So you're not having to give out. as But name. we do think if you're going to do the CB, CBDC thing. We do think handing out physical currency of some sort. Yeah. I mean, important. it could be, you know, nickels. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we hope you like this idea. We hope you have a happy Halloween. And we hope Brandy will be on future episodes of What's Left. Da, da, da. <laughs> and most likely you will. We're going to report on how this went. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it'll be interesting to see how much uh, conversation we can strike up because, of course, there's a lot else going on. And this night is about the kids and also, you know, after dark, it's not like people can yeah. read this easily. Um, but maybe we'll be getting uh, emails from people after the fact. Yeah. And last, if you decide to do this, um, we'd love to hear about it uh, in some way, shape or form. Yeah. So put maybe put it in the comments below. Put in, your, in, the, 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 in the comments below. Um, if you're on um, iTunes or Spotify and I don't think you can do comments, just send us, drop us a line on what's left podcast.com. You'll see a little contact thing. Maybe send, send us something that way. Um, and uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Brandy, for doing this. <laughs> yeah. You finally got me on what's left. I did. <laughs> so, so, and have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.